Listen up. It's just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, as you know, Trick Daddy had some things to say when he was on Clubhouse. He was talking about Beyonce and saying that she couldn't sing. Beyonce with her because she see money. Beyonce ain't trying to give back the music and that. Beyonce don't write music and Betty can sing her mother. So Beyonce can't sing. Beyonce is to R&B what Jay-Z is to New York. That's why they together. <laughs> He's just wrong. Now, yeah, and people definitely came for him, but he is doubling down on those comments and he doesn't care about the trolls. He has his own opinion. Here's what he said. That's my opinion. Beyonce... The number one performer I ever seen besides the Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. Can she sing? Yeah. She can't sing. Beyonce ain't Stephanie Mills. She ain't Patti LaBelle. She ain't Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey. She ain't the Adele. But that's my opinion. I told my homeboys, oh, Chris Brown is on the level of Michael Jackson. They like, you crazy, you disrespecting the king. Trick is absolutely right. That's his opinion, yes. um, but he's wrong. And you know what he said yesterday about Jay-Z? And I was thinking about this yesterday when he was saying um, after Big died, that's when Jay became the guy. Big, if anybody knighted Jay, it was Big. Yeah. Like, Big was saying Jay was his favorite rapper, you know, way back. Yeah. So, Big knighted Jay, Jay if anybody. Jay is definitely, he's definitely nice. But like like Chick Daddy said, that's his opinion. That's like, his opinion. He can say whatever he wants. And I don't think he, he can sustain that long just because uh, Biggie passed away. I, and uh, then you come on. We know that. It no. wouldn't last that long. We that's, know that. And, all right. Now, in addition to this, he was on with Mark Lamont Hill, and he had this to say about the beehive. Trolling only works when it affects him. I'm not affected by it. I don't care who don't agree with me. If I offended somebody, do I care? Yeah, probably. But... I don't think that I said nothing to offend anybody. As far as the beehive, good support, man. Good what y'all doing. But I grew up with roaches. I, mean, <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. Drop on a clue box for Trick Daddy. I love it. <laughs> I grew up with roaches, damn it. What a bee so know, roach. <laughs> Of course, the beehive was leaving all kinds of comments and ratings on Chick Daddy's restaurant. They were leaving very unfavorable reviews. One person said disgusting food. Seriously, though, the service was subpar. Definitely do not recommend this restaurant. They can't even sing. Hey, by the way, I'd rather have roaches than bees, though, because roaches don't bite. I ain't never heard about no roach thing in nobody. Now, Chick Daddy also had this to say mm -hmm. about how he ranks Beyonce compared with other singers. If Stephanie Mills and Whitney Houston are a 100 on the scale, what's Beyonce? Beyonce is an 85. Tell me a Beyonce song that have, have put you in a moment, have made you as a man close your eyes and want to cry or want to be with that girl. And that's why I judge my things about. That's why I judge. That's how I judge music. I think music is supposed to take you somewhere. Excuse me, Trick Daddy? Have you never heard, honey, honey, I can see the stars all the way cry. from here. Again. It didn't make cry. Can't you see the right, glow right. on the window right. pane? Yeah, yeah. I can feel the sun when But I would give it to um, Beyonce, here. Halo, too. I think that's a good singing song. And when she redid the Bee Gees Emotions... That was my joint. But too, everything is a pain. I used to that close my opinion. eyes in this studio and sing Love on Top every goddamn Friday back in the day. Okay, yes, that song definitely makes me think about the woman I love. I love Love on Top. I thought you were singing to me. Baby, it's you. You're the one I love. You're All right, the now you're really hurting our ears. Uh, you're the you're only doing is one how I see. Oh Come goodness. on, baby, it's you. You're the one right. that gives your all. All right. Haters, boy. Haters. Master P wants to be the head coach for the Pelicans, and he talked to TMZ, and here's what he had to say. I think it's time they got to do something different, unique. The NBA is entertainment. I think it's time for me to be the first hip-hop coach. I played in the NBA. Right. Uh, I done coached a lot of great players. I coached DeMar DeRozan. We got great players on the team, but right. they need somebody to understand them. So if they bring me in as a head coach or assistant coach, I think I could change the game. You think if you were at least an assistant coach, possibly head coach, oh, you yeah, we'll keep, win. You keep Zion happy? We'll win and Zion will be happy. And, and even I have to work my way, start as assistant coach, right. I know, you know, it's you got to trust the process. Mm. Why not? Now, mind you, it's easy for me to say that because I've never been an NBA coach, but why not? Master P, goddammit, motivational speaker. He knows how to bring people together. He knows basketball. What other qualifications you need? He's tall. Yo, shut up, man. <laughs> what else you need? <laughs> what else you need? 
Yeah, I mean, and look at how well he's done with his own kids. Yes. So I feel like it, it could make sense. Could. Steve, Nash, right. Steve Nash hosts the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, he yeah. coaches the Brooklyn Nets. He never had no coaching experience he, anywhere. Not that I know of. He was a great player, though. So was Master P. Nash. Not on the level of Nash. Don't disrespect Percy Miller, bro. Steve Nash is a Hall of Famer. All right. Next time Percy Miller come up here, you say that to his face. That he's not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> that he's not a Hall of Famer. I, I, he is a Hall of Famer. He is a Hall of Famer. Not a basketball. Not a basketball. Not a basketball. Not a basketball. Hey, hey, Hall of Fame is Hall of Fame, guys. <laughs> Shut All up, right, man. And let's, <laughs> let's also send out some love to Fantasia. She has brought her baby girl home. Her daughter was in the hospital for nearly one month. And so it's good news that she was finally able to bring her newborn daughter home from the hospital. Uh, the baby had been in the neonatal intensive care unit since May 23rd. Mm. And she posted on Instagram a picture of her baby girl dressed in a white romper with a little cute booties on. And she put a welcome home, Kaziah Lyndon Taylor. So congratulations to her. And we're very happy to hear that. Shout out to Absolutely. Fantasia. Absolutely. to Fantasia. Mm -hmm. Our whole family. Sending right, healing energy to everybody. And that is your rumor report. All right. Thank you, Miss Yee. Charlamagne, who are you giving that donkey to? You know, I thoroughly enjoyed the fried chicken and watermelon conversation uh, last hour. So I think we should continue that conversation for after the hour because it is a lesson for corporate America to learn. But also it's a lesson that we can learn about fried chicken and watermelon. We'll discuss. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.